Hello, welcome, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And I'm going to take a look at uh, a template I released several months ago. And uh, it's a free template. And I'll put another link in the description in this video below uh, in case you can't find the other one. But it's the uh, template where I had all the chords for you. So you could hook up your, M, uh, your MIDI controller or whatever and jam out to all the different chords. You know, come in here and just kind of work with it in a way that finds something and inspire you, that kind of thing. But uh, I wanted to revisit it and share with you guys another way you can take advantage of this layout in this template. It's pretty powerful if you kind of know how to let Bitwig work for you. You can do it through the clip launching feature. So within house music, like the uh, minor 9, major 9, uh, major 7, minor 7, these two rows are very popular chords that you'll find a lot in some of the really good house songs and house tracks. Now it could be any of these chords, I'm just using these as an example, but these are pretty popular. So what we could do is all these chords in this row going down, they all complement each other as well as these right here. So you could do it with a mouse, you could kind of jam out like that or using the clip launcher we could double click this guy go to the inspector and bring it up and now we can tell the clip how to behave in relation to the other clips around it so we can set up follow or what they call next actions so currently you see that it's the next action is listed as do and the do feature is to stop but if you open that drop down box then you've got all these other directions you can tell it to go and then here on this after right here the first number represents the bars beats is the second number and the third number is the notes bars beats and notes I think the last one is set at 16 notes so it's like bars beats and 16 notes so we can tell it specifically how quickly we want it to behave from the do action so we've got this front this one highlighted I'm gonna go I'm gonna tell it to play other and that will include itself or another one and I'm gonna tell it to do it um, I'm gonna do it every three beats for that one and I'm gonna just I'm gonna stay right in this row this row here we're just gonna work with this row and I'm just gonna to go to the next one and I'm gonna say play um, random and let's do that one every three beats as well now we'll go to this guy we'll say play other and after one bar and kinda of get the process now so I'll just kinda of go through here real quick and set these up and there's no real method or right or wrong way to do this it's just uh, experiment you know see what works see what uh, what happens for us I'm trying to make it as random as possible so that I get a good variety of different notes being played for myself here. That way the pattern that the computer or the clips will create will be completely uh, randomized. Could sound good could sound bad but usually it comes up with arrangements that you wouldn't otherwise have thought of on your own so now we've got all these guys assigned to do a follow action at different uh, measures let's see what it comes up with it for us
So pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and record that in. I'll just hit the record button here. And then I'll hit play on the first one. It'll record whatever uh, comes up for us. Let me hit stop twice. All right, so now it starts at the one. All right, so let's record this in. Should be good enough. 12 bars there. So let's go over to the arrangement and let's see what it was it was able to do for us. We'll get that guy activated. Don't need this guy open anymore. And let's uh, zoom in here so we can see what we've got. So here's what it was able to do for us. So what I will do is bring this down to the 12th bar there. And then I'm just going to highlight everything, right-click, consolidate. Now we've got everything in one big clip here. We'll go to edit, and there's our chord structure. So that's what the computer came up with for us right here. So now we can go in and manipulate and do things, uh, you know, and, and work with them a little bit to give them a different flavor or a different arrangement. And let's take a look at how we can do that. Um, let me go back to arrange real quick here, make sure I've got the loop set at the right length. Okay, we get that guy looped. Back to edit. And let's hear what we've got. for this quick change so we'll just get rid of these guys get rid of those and let's say we extend these over now let's hear that So one of the other things we can do here, I don't like that change either, we'll extend these ones back this way. So one of the other techniques that you can do here that will bring your um, progressions to life is you can do, you can kind of break the chords up a little bit. They don't have to all be this same measure or you know right there so just maybe highlight the first two on this one and I'm doing this randomly and we'll bring these notes back to say like right there and let's go the first three on this guy or actually let's just go the first two on this guy again and we'll bring them back to say like right there and this guy well we don't need a oh, get rid of you We'll just go the first three on this guy. And we can come back to here. Let's hear what that does for us. All right, that's a little aggressive on this one. So we will bring this guy back up here. And let's bring this guy over one or more than one somewhere in there and let's kind of do the same thing right here see what we get Let's 
just move this guy forward for us. And you can see real easily if you just kind of subtly move things around, you can come up with some pretty complex sounding arrangements here. So we will go, uh, let's go with this one. Let's move these guys back. Move this guy back. And we'll take these guys. Move that guy back. That guy back. So let's see what that sounds like. pretty cool real mellow chill but easily uh, something I probably wouldn't have come up with on my own just using the computer there so let's go back to um, where were we? um, mix maybe no arrange yeah and now we've got this clip here and I've got another session open with a nerve drum machine so let's just do this let's copy And we'll go over here to this guy, add an instrument track, and maybe I can just drag it. Yeah, just drag and drop it, it's a little easier that way. But now I've got this same clip that we just created over there, off of that template, available for me to work with right here. Get rid of those notes on the end. Now I can put any synth I want to this. So let's do that. Activate the audio engine. And we will mute that guy. Let's go find us a synth that we like. And uh, let's see here. Um, what would be cool? Uh, Let me grab blue two. Manager, and we'll just go with some synth sounds. Let's see what we get right there, and we'll just preview some of these. <laughs> something that inspires us a little bit. pattern on this. Let's hear what it sounds like with some drums.
Just goofing around, trying to find something that sounds good. So yeah, see how easily I did that in just a few quick minutes here. So just going uh, off of the chord template that, again, is a free download. I'll put the download link in the description below. But I released this one a while back. It's been a couple months ago, I think, or maybe a little longer. Um, really cool stuff, easy to inspire you, easy to get things going. A lot of cool chords to work with, more than you'll probably ever need. So if you're not uh, too in-depth with music theory or don't want to spend a lot of time uh, trying to hash out a killer chord progression, this is a great way to take Bitwig Studio uh, and kind of let the clip launching or the uh, you know um, follow actions work for you. So hopefully it was fun for you and you were able to learn something new. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for pushing play, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.